What's up, tube you? Or you hug? Or what was it? YouTube? Yeah. Grew, grew up on the countryside of town. <laughs> Alright, guys, in today's video, we're going to be finishing up the front wheel assembly. Um, I didn't smoke the front wheels last time, so I'll be smoking those today. And uh, then after that, I got some new tires and so the rear sprocket and a few other little small pieces that I'm going to finish. So we're going to finish the wheels today and then next week we're going to start working on the uh, plastics and I, I got, got a really, really, really special surprise for y'all. Uh, you're not going to want to miss this. If you love two-stroke builds and you love the older bikes, the Suzuki's, you're going to love this. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for that next week. Focus, focus. Alright, you can see at the top is where I drilled and it barely looks different but it's just big enough uh, to fit the, the spoke through you can see I messed that one up but it's still functional but yeah uh, I'm using a let me see what size bit I'm using I'm using a 532nd bit I finally went and got a, a cheap uh, a cheap little impact from Lowe's it was on sale for $99 but I'm gonna drill these hubs out uh, so I can fit the spokes and then I'm gonna go ahead and lace up the front wheel and put the the front brake together I mean the front uh, rotor no uh, yeah basically do a mock-up I'm having I'm having trouble finding somebody that has nitrogen to refill my shop um we have a local uh, a local ATV dirt bike uh, store called Hattiesburg Cycles. They don't even have nitrogen. So I got to find somebody that has nitrogen to refill my shock in the uh, South Mississippi area. Well, before I can start on the RM, I got to get this mess with the KX125 sorted. All right, now that I've cleared some space, I can go ahead and start working on this front rim. Um, I ordered some tires and some inner tubes. Um, guys, try to ignore the loud ass uh, dog of my neighbors. But um, I got the the front wheel laced up. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the bike and true it. And uh, the next the next section will be me mounting the tires and uh, mocking that up. Oh, and I'm also going to work on this uh, linkage. I finally got it out. I think I told y'all that already, but I'm going to uh, put the new bearings in and drop the linkage in and get a mock-up of the shock. But as I told y'all earlier, I need somebody to uh, charge that with nitrogen. All right, I got the Renthal rear sprocket. This is a 51 tube. That's the uh, stock, the stock gear. Got some STI tubes for the front. Got another one for the rear. Uh, I think the rear tube is good, but uh, the front tire, the front tube had a hole. Then I got the uh, Tusk spacer kit with the valve cap. And uh, these tubes, these are Bridgestone tires. Um, I think the Dunlops are just every single person has Dunlops, and this this won't be a cookie cutter build. I'm trying to do some different stuff, bring some different stuff to the table. You uh, know, I think these uh from what I'm reading, these are pretty solid too. But I'm gonna mount these tires, and that's basically all I'm gonna be doing today. You ready? Yeah.
guys, I finally finished mounting the tires, and um, I got one little. Well, it's not an issue, but uh, the tires they have this like uh residue on it, like uh, some kind of adhesive. I don't know what it is, but it's not a big deal because I mean they're dirt dirt bike tires, so they're gonna hit the dirt anyway. But anyway, I'm not complaining about that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mount these on the bike. All right, fellas, I got the uh, tires mounted. Then I put the wheels back on. It's starting to look like a bike again. Um, up next is going to be the plastics. Um, after I do the plastics, I'm going to take a break and uh, buy some, uh, some gear, another helmet, and stuff like that. Yeah. But you can see better from this side. You can get the good lighting. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, that's it for this video. Um, I don't know what the next vote will be. It'll probably be. I probably won't have another vote until it's time to do the exhaust. Um, I don't know. Do you? Would y'all want to vote on the exhaust? I have a FML factory uh, pipe. I was just gonna have that sent out and repaired and uh make it come back looking new but i don't know just hit me up whatever you guys have whatever kind of comments or whatever suggestions just leave them down below and i'll take it all into consideration peace